Hey, what's up everybody? It's D-Amazing here, bringing another review. This time it's the SH Figure Arts Hard Boiler Renew version. So if you've been watching Kamen Rider, or you've been looking at my posts, or you've been trying to get into Kamen Rider, you know that most Kamen Riders have bikes. Uh, Double is very popular in Japan, as well as here in the US, and his bike got a renewal version, just like his figure did. So, let's get into it. Um, there's not much to go over as far as like what functions and all that, so I'm going to go over what it compares to, what it is then and now, things like that. Um, the bike absolutely looks wonderful. It's an accurate rendition of what it came out of in the show. I can't say whether or not it's, you know, not, but I personally believe that it is. The only thing you don't get is the plate on the back because for obvious reasons, you could put your own stick in there. You could put double, you could do whatever it is you want. The front wheel turns and rotates with the handlebars. So you don't have to worry about the comparison between the first one. It did that, but you had to worry about the wheel falling off because uh, it can transform. Well, part swap. Uh, you can't take it apart like the old one. It's it's a full-on figure piece. It's all one solid piece. The wheel has a shock function, just like all the other uh, rider machines that Bandai releases. And I think that's really cool. The wheels are actually very smooth. And they stop really well. So if these ever get motorized, I would, I would totally be a fan of these. I really like them. Um, <laughs> I like Double's bike a lot. I think it's one of the better designs. The front time, oh, The front of it. I wish I can add LEDs here. That would be really dope. I think that they did a better job of uh, mimicking the real headlights here. The speedometer is there. It's all really nice. The handlebars, everything. Um, one of the things that they added, though, that they definitely started to accompany for is the fact that people like to copy the stuff that they see in the show, the books, manga, art. So most of the time, there's bikes jumping over things and stuff like that. So what happens now is that they give it a porthole piece. That way you can plug your bike up on the stuff. Now, because mine wasn't tied down, you obviously see that, you know. But the plugs hold up very well, as you can clearly see. Um, you just want to be careful not to snap it off in place, because then you'd have to dremel it out, and you'd have nothing but trouble. And that's not something you want. Also, what it comes with, if you don't want to be on the sidebar, and you want to look like he's riding or driving, you can actually add the stand in place, so now you can be straight up through. Um, one of the things that I've learned... Uh, through the bikes is that Bandai definitely does learn from their mistakes because with the first one uh, the paint job is not it the, the bike is almost identical in terms of molding so I'm not gonna sit there and tell you uh, it's molded differently it's actually molded just about the same except as you can see little details are added like as you can see here in the double structure the headlights for blinking left or right are here they're non they're just non-existent here the headlights on the first one now the thing about the first one is it was made more for pot swapping, and the problem was the bike itself was too big for the first uh, rider figure, um, and that was a little annoying. Also, what you have to worry about, because um, it had a little bit more die cast, the front wheel always popping out constantly. And that was because they needed to make it easy for when you part swapped and added it uh, to do other stuff. I forgot how it went. Oh, but yeah, you needed to part swap it. So let me just pop that back in. So that's one of the things you worry about. There's no porthole at the bottom, so it's a little bit more accurate in terms of uh, structure down here. But the problem is right here in the middle, the bike would come apart because you could either add the turbulent unit or the booster unit. And basically, you know, it, it, it's a little unstructured because it couldn't fit the first figure, but it does fit the second one really well. So you can't say you don't need both because if you want the turbulent flight unit or the booster unit, this one is great. If you want a bike that's more accurate green, it looks more sturdy, it has a little bit more detail in terms of that, you definitely can get this one. So they definitely leave you with options of getting one or both. And I think that's really great because even though they learned from mistakes, they gave you a reason to go out and want to get both. This one is actually uh, quite a bit heavier. There's more die cast and filler inside this one, whereas the Renewal bike looks uh, just a little bit more. Now, real quick, I'm going to test out what it's like to have the bike on each, well, the figure on each bike. So you guys can see what's going on. And double on this bike, I think, doesn't look as good as he would on the Renewal one. Still good, but just not as good. Yeah, just not as good. Actually, although the bikes look about the same, it, it looks like they're not actually the same. Because even with the bike down it just looks like he can't sit flush here pretty sure you can work that out and fix it looks like the handlebars may sit a little too low 
So that's what it's fixed on this one. And I'm just now learning this along with you guys. So the handlebars actually sit a little higher and there's more room here on this version. So while they look the same, there actually is a major difference. He doesn't sit completely flush here. So you have some working out to do. So there is a lot that was majorly fixed. Whereas I've, and I've done it a million times. I already had it on the bike. He sits more flush. He sits well. It looks really good. The feet actually sit up properly. Really good. I definitely need to get some pictures and some more actually. So you could do wheelies. You can do a, I'm pretty sure I've posted already. There's a kicking photo that I have. It's actually, this one I like more. But they do both serve a purpose. But if there's something that you've missed out on and you got the double renewal and you need the bikes, this one is definitely the one to get in terms of fitting the renewal. And the first figure is just non-existent now. It just doesn't match up to the renewal at all. But yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure my Joker custom fit on there. I've taken pictures with them on there a million times. So yeah, if you are out and you are looking for the double bike and trying to decide on which one to get, the first one is nice, but it turns out, and even after I've learned it just now, the renewal is absolutely better in terms of fitting your figures on and just absolutely looking better. It fixes the issues that were going on. So that's the one you want. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review comparing the bikes. I hope you got a lot of information from it. In the meantime, drink your water, be good, do good. Keep your hearts full. Later.